hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're just joining this youtube channel for the very first time please make sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on post notification it's just like show black that you have subscribed to the youtube channel successfully please we should make it thank you followers yes and um to my returning subscribers I want to tell you all a very big thank you. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. To so all those that take time to watch my videos from the beginning to the ending, I love you all so much. We're looking forward to monetization. And um, on 7th of August was my birthday, the Leo, you know, right? So we celebrated our birthday. I posted it uh, in the last video. And I hope you all enjoyed it. And uh, recently, I just like changed the wallpaper of the room and it's looking so wow. How did I see the wallpaper in the room? It's so cool, right? Thank you very much. And this mic, I got it as a birthday gift from my beloved sister that's always believed in the dream. <laughs> I love her so much. I love you so much, my sister. Mwah. So today, we're going to be talking about how to treat your man this is not really focused on the sex aspects this is also for the ladies courting with your man and for the married ones too <laughs> yeah number one always make his d right d is dick make his dick rise not his life hard make his dick hard not his life hard okay for instance always try to just make him happy no matter what the circumstances are and you shouldn't be like checking his phones to see if a girl is calling don't do that it will make him to lose interest in you if you just notice maybe an attitude that it's word you should just call his attention with love like you can just make fun oh my oh my love just cook um, a very nice dish for him or just do something that will make him happy then call his attention like baby I just noticed this I just noticed that you know I love you so I wouldn't like to just just wave everything out and just put it in my mind you get but just say it with love and you guys will settle it amicably number two dress sexy whenever you're with your man don't be the Mary and Macar type hmm. dressing good is serious business now even though you're gonna be looking outside for those girls that are dressing sexy for you okay you buy sexy injuries, dance for him, twerk for him. Don't don't live a boring life. You get it. If you don't get it, forget it. No, you don't have to forget it. <laughs> yeah. Don't be a boring woman. Always pick adventures. Number three. Be a sex pro. Be on a show. <laughs> for your man let's you be the best he has ever tasted give out the best in you no matter what even if you're angry just do it he's your man especially when you're married marriage should not be taken for granted but I don't accept when a man should beat his woman it's a no 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 for me and to the men out there, please try not to lay your hands on your woman because you are the man. You, we, we were created from the men. So that is not a way to show power. You show power with your brain. You work with your brain. And when you work with your brain, you see how everything will be going amicably. And to the women, try to understand your man. Not when he's trying to avoid some kind of things. You try to still look 
and the bad side always look the good things too in your mind you get me yes and um know him study him know what he likes know what he does and to those that wants to get married i will advise this for me i sh i think that religion is very important like sitting down together if you guys have two different religions talk to him about it first how does he feel because i just have to do this a uh, video so urgently because i actually have other stuff i'm doing so i just want to just reach out to my beloved subscribers because y'all all is so important to me so i make up time to still do a video one or two times here um if you're on the tears uh the page has the name has changed from it's the richard tv to stainless lady yeah i noticed that um there are more of Esther, Richard, and all that. So I had to make it more specific and more unique. That's why I changed the name from Esther Richard TV to Stillness Lady. But all the same, you're gonna be getting bomba to bomb content here. The name hasn't changed the content they are gonna be getting here. Okay. So I was talking about, back to the um, point, I was talking about the religion. Yeah, you have to like tell him, how do you feel about this? How do you feel about that? Because religion causes a lot of problems in marital homes these days. Because they didn't sit out and talk about it. So you have to like sit him out and say, darling, are you sure about this? Imagine if he's a Muslim and you are a Christian or you is a Christian and you guys get married, she goes to her church, the man goes to his mosque. I don't know how <laughs> that sounds, but you guys should just ask yourselves if it's okay or are we going to still go to different churches or are we going to go to the mocks together you guys should make a time to ask those questions because if you guys don't clear those things out it will disturb later in future yeah i hope you've noted that point good so i was still talking about sometimes dance for your man to work to work because i'm not they will still go to a club and do not he will go and take on that girl now and go to the club and be dancing with her so better have all music put mp3 yeah so i was saying that it's very important to know the religions because it's very important you know it's going to bring issues later in the marriage so you wouldn't want that for yourself right so always ask your man this one that you attending the mosque are we gonna still be compatible are we gonna understand ourselves get yeah, right and um for me i don't think uh, much d um matters in a relationship as far as it can give you what you want go for it and you love the person go for it and um and that point always bring out the best in your man always bring out the best you should be an asset not a liability hear this you should always be an asset not a liability yes this is to encourage all ladies out there please be hard working don't be a housewife 
contribute to your man contribute to your man don't be the one that's always sex sitting down in the house contribute to your man and you see how the, the home will be so peaceful <laughs> very important i just want to impact in my society so there will be less misunderstanding in marriages in relationship and all that i'm here to inspire and impact knowledge on everyone <laughs> so guys how do you see the hair i think this pink hair looks good on me with the nails or waist touch acrylic nails though so guys um if you've not subscribed to this youtube channel please do also turn on post notifications so you get a ding dong whenever i post